Good morning, beautiful people. What's up, guys? We have a big day today, guys, because we are needing to head to the grocery store and get a ton of groceries because <laughs> it is back to school and we have just moved into a and new house. And we're not in an RV. Yeah, yeah we've been trying to use all of this stuff that we brought over from the RV, but it's... Ah! Excited about getting was, some he was like, I need you to lift me up so yeah, I can say so I can bye. Say bye. Um, bye. We are really excited. We definitely need to get a lot of stuff to stock up on the new house. Yes. But also we need to get a bunch of stuff for the kids' lunch boxes yes. because school is just in a few days. And so we're really excited about that. Most of the kids are going with us. Lincoln here is going to stay with Reese. Linky, are you going to have some fun with Reese? Yeah. Like, he's yeah, having so much fun. Yeah, he's having so much fun with these cards over here. But Reese is going to hang out with him and play because he gets a little overstimulated stimulated yes. at stores and when we need to stock up this much it's gonna be easier to just kind of go in and really focus and we'll make sure to get all of his favorites and bring it back up here. We'll be very excited when we get back. Yes. So he's just gonna play and snuggle with Reese a little bit but the rest of us are headed to the store and we also need to go get this Bye. little girl's birthday cake and I love the cake they make. Yeah. Get her right now. So Penelope's very favorite cake is actually one from the boba shop that we go to. Yeah. Right? It's not too sweet. She said in China they make cakes that are like less sweet, right? Then yeah. But it's like, like a layer. Yeah. It's got what does it have in it? They kind of like mochi and matcha, and then they have fruit on top. Matcha and fruit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a layered cake. It's really cute, and yeah. you really like it. I know Kira really likes it too. I do. So. I try, and I really like love it so much. So we're gonna go order one of those from the boba shop, and then head to the grocery store. But it's Yay. super exciting. It's super exciting. Boba just turned seventeen. Yeah. Her birthday's literally in two days, I so know. that's really exciting. 17. 17. It's gonna be really fun. We have a fun party planned for her, but let's go stock up on a bunch of food and get going. <laughs> Mom! I know, you got a game going, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you stinker. Now I get to pick the card. Thank you. Yeah, that's the point. Like, I just feel like he didn't even move Good job, Lincoln. Now you pick the birthday cake is ordered and I thought she was choosing matcha because it's green but apparently there's something else called pandan. What's it called? Pandone or pandan? Pandan? I <laughs> something like that. I, I, I looked at the spelling because I literally didn't know what she was saying. She's like you want the pandan and I'm like um yes like I think so sure. but it looks like matcha and Rikir is saying it's kind of like matcha like a grass type thing right? It's a Herb type thing. Don't herb. worry, I tried before. It's really good. That's your favorite. <laughs> Either way, we know that we ordered the one that Penelope wants, and it has fruit on top, and it's like a layered cake. It's super cute. She got like a so. cilantro cake. <laughs> Not cilantro. Yeah. Um, and we got some boba, of she course. She would like that. She loves You do cilantro. love cilantro, though. Yeah, this girl puts it on everything. Every time we go to the store, she's like, make sure you get cilantro. So uh, I like cilantro, too. I've heard that cilantro is one of those things that you either love or hate, and I yeah. hated it until a few years ago. I love it. And then I decided I love it. So puts a lot of it in his guacamole recipe. Yes. I think that's why I started loving it because I love that flavor. So, so, All right, so that's checked off the list and now we're going to head over to Costco, Let's get a whole bunch of groceries, and then we're gonna order a few things from Kroger as well that we can't get at Costco yeah. and have that delivered to the house and we'll have all the groceries back home. <laughs> It's like a bed, dude. Oh my God. That's like as big as a bed. It's the biggest pillow in the world. It looks like it is like a bed. What do we get? I think it is, yeah. It's like a beanbag bed. Come on, guys, let's go. You can sleep here. I love these things. A girl and her jerky. <laughs> you can get it. It's okay. Yeah. You get it? Yeah. This guy? Yeah, sure. Got the noodles, 
the udon. <laughs> I think we should um, get these for Reese um, since she got the tattoo inspired by the, the Vienna, Vienna sausages. You know? That's my oh, eyes. <laughs> I found a whole bunch of these pre cooked little things so of rice. Cool. Oh, Dude, sticky so rice. Michael, yeah, yeah. you can awesome. take it in the. Yeah. So easy. That's awesome. Easy peasy. Easy. Asian people, they buy a wife, they just buy a tire bag. <laughs> they don't care it's about very the cost tiny effective. bag. Only yeah. A big bag. That's awesome. Normally, I don't like seaweed, but it's a sample at Costco, so. <laughs> How many samples is that for you today? You're counting. You did like four. <laughs> that's your fourth, that's your fifth. That's awesome. Yeah. This is my baby. So <laughs> you gotta take care, okay? Okay. The girl loves herself. That is tonight. a lot of rice. <laughs> that's a lot of food on it. Yeah. That'll last us uh, a little while. Yeah, we're, hey, we're gonna be set for at least a couple weeks. <laughs> no, no. For me, a month. For a all month. of this, like, twice, half a year. Half the year. <laughs> little baby pancakes. That's so cool. Kodiak cakes. I'm favorite. so excited. I have actually, I come back to Costco like every week and get these because yeah. they're so good. They're good. You can eat them just straight out of the jar or you can cook them and eat them hot. They're like, I actually started putting them in some omelets. Yum. Amazing. This is so much fun. This is so fun. Such fun life. <laughs> it's like as big as you are. It's beyond burgers. I'm vegan. We're vegetarian, but it's a sample in Costco. <laughs> Reese and I are going to be doing a lot more like healthy foods, less processed stuff, and so salmon is one of those things. She does this like salmon bowl, and so I'm gonna get some of these, and a few other non-processed foods that I could be gravitating towards instead of all the junk that we got used to this summer. Bit, but that's cool. Month, yeah. I'm glad yeah. that they have that kind of stuff in it's stock. Pretty cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're eggers. We like eggs. Okay, so we found one of our favorites, which is beef japchae, and it is it's delicious. delicious. This whole section smells so so good. <laughs> we haven't had, we, I mean, honestly, we haven't had like a big grocery haul in, in a while. Yeah. Good while. So, takes a maybe lot sweating feed. a little bit. Yeah. Takes a lot to feed all these kids, yeah. especially when most of them are teenagers. Yeah, and especially when we haven't really gotten groceries for any kind of extended period of time in a couple months. Yeah, we're stocking back we're up. Kind of starting from scratch. Okay guys, so we just got back from Costco with our massive grocery haul <laughs> and huge, there was actually a few things that we didn't find there so we, I went online and I ordered from Kroger as well and had it delivered so that was waiting at the door when we got home. So we have so many groceries, like an entire month's worth. Yeah. Uh, we'll obviously have to go back halfway through the month and get a little bit more produce and things that just don't stay fresh for an entire month. Yeah. But we have stocked up. The house is full of food and the kids have everything that they wanted for their lunch boxes and more. So if you so. see some of my kidneys on Facebook Marketplace this week. Yeah, it's, uh... Uh, this was the <laughs> largest grocery haul that we've ever done in one setting. Yeah. I will say a lot of times we go back multiple times a month, so it's yeah. probably not the most that we've ever spent, but it is the most that we've ever spent in one sitting. And so yeah. I'm gonna show you everything we got. We can talk about price and stuff too. Yeah. But um, we ended up spending a little over $900 at Costco and then I think about 150 at Kroger. So it was a little over $1,000 total, which is not nearly as much as we spend yeah. for an entire month of groceries. But like I said, we'll have to go back for some produce and milk like halfway through the month. Um, but this is this is a lot here. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So we'll start with the stuff on the table here. I also have stuff on both of the counters <laughs> over here. And I've tried to kind of organize it quickly. And then we need to get this stuff put into the freezer. So I'm going to go a little quick on this. But we went ahead. We do this every time we go to Costco. I went ahead and got two of these little pre-packaged taco dinner things here I love this cilantro lime cream sauce the kids really like that so that's gonna be for dinner tonight um, chicken nuggets are always a favorite so I went ahead and grabbed just one bag of those um, but normally we get a lot more than that a two pack of the mozzarella that we'll definitely go through we love putting that on pasta and just adding that to 
so many things. And we also got a two pack of the Mexican cheese because our kids love quesadillas, we love to do taco salads, that kind of thing. So this is probably, do you think this is enough cheese for an entire uh, month? I don't know. I don't know, we might need to get some more. Maybe for the week. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> we go through cheese a lot, right? We do. Uh, the kids also love string cheese, so I found Especially some Lincoln lately. organic. Yeah, Lincoln's He'll really like string those, cheese. Yeah. He didn't really like them before, but mm -hmm. he liked those. Oh, Lincoln is down for a nap real quickly, but I'm sure he'll be waking up soon and very mm -hmm. excited mm -hmm. to see all of it favorite goodies so um we did get two of the 24 pack of eggs and we will go through a lot more eggs i just went ahead yeah. and got two of them because um i don't know how much we're gonna be able to fit in the fridge because we only have one fridge here yeah. it is bigger than the rv fridge so i know we'll be able to fit more and if but, we need to put some in the rv fridge we can <laughs> yeah and we'll go back when we get the other fruit and stuff we can go back and get that as well um, but we do a lot of eggs. Steven does a lot of egg whites, and so they have a big case there at Costco. And also boiled eggs. This is Penelope, Lincoln, Steven. A lot of the kids love boiled yeah. eggs or chopping it up and doing like egg salad. That's a, quite a bit of egg That's in there awesome. too. Yeah. So one of the things that we tried in store was the beef japchae. Dude, we so love japchae. I didn't know they sold it there. But we got two of those because the sample was really good. So <laughs> it works for them to pass out samples because a lot of times you try stuff and you're like, That's pretty good. I get it. <laughs> Um, and then Steven and Lincoln particularly love these little egg sandwich things. So convenient. Yeah, so low quick. carb, mm -hmm. no bread. So it's just egg and sausage and cheese. And so just those will stay in the freezer. You just pop them in the microwave yeah. or the oven. Put right? a little Valentina's hot sauce on them. Ooh, mm -hmm. nice. Um, and then a couple of things of sandwich bags. We have some reusable ones for the kids' lunch boxes, but a couple of these just to have as backups. Mm -hmm. um, this is one of Lincoln's favorite snacks are these cheese wisps. So we can throw some of those in a Ziploc baggie for school, as well as some gluten-free pretzels. I really like these. I'm trying to avoid wheat as much as possible, so I do stick with um, usually gluten-free stuff or else just trying to not do a lot of grains. Um, but I do like rice and oats and that kind of thing. Um, and then some sweet potato fries. Those are really good. That's, I'm gonna count that as like one of my little cheap things because mm -hmm. I'm trying to do a lot of like fresh produce and yeah. um, uh, protein and that kind of thing, but I'll do some of that. Um, and then Kerrygold cheese. That's delightful. Dude, that cheese is so good. You guys know we're super into <laughs> Kerrygold butter. It's yes. so, so, so good. Um, but the Kerrygold cheese is also really good. So we got some of that. And Steven wanted some wings. These are obviously- Well, Liam seasoned. actually requested those. Oh, really? So I'm gonna cook those and make them. We're, we're gonna do like a big cookout in a couple days. My mom and uh, sister and yeah. uh, niece are all coming to visit. We've got family coming into town. We're gonna actually be babysitting Steven's niece for about five or six days. Um, later next week and so that's gonna be really fun and then my mom's coming in town a lot of you guys are asking about our kitties um, my parents were pet sitting this summer and so we have Reese's cat already but she's gonna be bringing Sable back and so um, all of the kitties will be back together and so that's really good uh, she'll be here tomorrow so we have a lot of family coming into town <laughs> so that's good but yeah so we've got wings here so much meat on this side um, oh, these were on sale for $4.99 for this big old box. It was like 50% off. Heck yeah. And we'd love to throw those in the freezer and just do some mm. little yogurt, like frozen yogurt tubes in the freezer. Um, I've never seen this before, but Penelope was super excited about trying to make this tofu. Oh, yeah. That she's actually, she really likes a lot of tofu. She so does, yeah. This one looks like something that she's really going to enjoy. Um, and a, a very large thing of pork <laughs> yeah, as well. Pork chops, that's her favorite. We'll so. just cook this all up at once yeah. and then be able to save some of it in the fridge so that we can kind of pull from yeah. it all week it's, long. It's meal prep. I mean, it makes it easy to have some quick, yeah. easy access protein. A for lot us. of this is meal prep because we've been on the road so much that we were like eating out a ton or not being able to do anything more than like one serving at a time. So a lot of these will be able to meal prep and make things for the entire yeah. week. Lots so of chicken breast. We've chicken got breast, yeah. Ribs, we've got chicken thighs, mm. we've got Canadian bacon, we got ground beef and salmon and mm. hot dogs and bacon and ham and turkey yeah, and all of the meats. Sandwiches, the kids <laughs> like to do ham and turkey sandwiches. And I really like to do fresh bell pepper. You put a little bit of avocado, cream cheese, and then some turkey or ham, and it's super yummy. And that's a way to make a sandwich without yeah. using bread. So that would be really great. Super this good. huge thing of hot dogs, it's, it's like so a four pack. I know, it's so affordable compared to like buying them individually. So we try like to always a fraction of the price, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, it's more than 50% off, so yeah. that's great. Um, and then Penelope was really excited about this. It's already pre-cooked rice packets that she can take to school with probably like the tofu or like yeah. just different meat that we've already pre-cooked. So that's great. Um, a big thing of mayo here. 
So we go through a lot of mayo. We like to add that into like the boiled eggs and that kind of thing. Yeah. And then this is one of our favorites too, these brozzy bites. <laughs> This they're is gluten-free. So they're just kind of like cheesy bread. You can throw them into the oven and they're they're just like an easy little snack. Um, and then a huge thing of meatballs. We love these. Yeah, the kids will either eat those on this uh, on their own or yeah. they will put them with pasta and that kind of thing. Super convenient. Pasta is over this direction. Lots and lots of over to our here. next section, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. No. Um, okay, so we actually ordered also from our farmer and yes. um, it's called Market Wagon where the, all the local farmers have their uh, items available and then you can just place an order weekly and they deliver it to your door. So good. I love that so much. So we got a bunch of fresh milk here from the farmers. Um, oh gosh. Um, we also got some fresh cream and the kids were begging for a little bit of chocolate milk so <laughs> we did go ahead and get one thing of chocolate milk. Um, and then they had some fresh um, bone broth and I'm trying to like reset my gut and so I was going to be doing a, a bone broth cleanse for like two or three days so went ahead and got some of that and some fresh cheese and fresh pickles and fresh sourdough bread this is something I would it love it was to hot eat. when she delivered it it was still hot it, I know I almost wanted to just eat it right then but I was like I'm just gonna wait <laughs> because we had other things that we we're doing um, but some fresh sourdough bread and sourdough um, croissants, sourdough croissants. That is just sounds delightful. Um, and then I forgot that I'd ordered these pickles, so I went ahead and got some Brillos. <laughs> yeah, but we love Brillos pickles too. We got so many pickles, but we love pickles in general. We'll so definitely we'll go through them. Um, two things: uh, bagels. The kids love these. Dave's Killer Dave's Bread Killer. bagels, as well as Dave's Killer Bread for sandwiches, and some tortillas here to make quesadillas and tacos and all that good stuff. And then our fra our favorite mac and cheese is actually the. Um, Kroger Organics, they do like several different variations of it. But so easy, these so are, convenient, yeah. tasty. Easy. Kids love mac and cheese. So Steven's favorite is the pe pepperoncini peppers and those are, pepperoncini. I've actually not tried them, but I'm taking Steven's word for them oh that they're good. Gosh, he loves they're them. they're like glory. Yeah, some tuna as well. Is yeah, that for you or is that that's for That's for me. I'm that's just you. trying to really, really up my protein and lower my carbs this fall. Yeah, that's great. I it's got off the wagon. Great. I fell off the wagon. We're all for the like summer. so motivated to eat healthy. Reese was saying that too. She's like, let's not eat out at all. Let's just cook everything at home. Just be super healthy. Yeah. I'm definitely ready to do that as well. <laughs> so guys, it is one of the craziest things when you just give your whole life for like a year and a half to get in the best shape of your life, and then you move into an RV and you lose like all of your normalcy and routine and all of it's that. Hard. It's been yeah. really hard to like stay on a really good nutrition plan. So I'm really happy that we're in a house now again and we can really do the meal prepping and really stay on track. Yeah. No more falling off the wagon. You know, I am so, so proud of you though. Up. You're working hard. He's at the gym all the so time. <laughs> and this fall is just gonna be a great time for all it of is. us to really double down always. on our efforts and get healthy. Yeah, so. and I'm actually gonna restart doing my like fitness, nutrition, weight loss stuff on my channel as well. So if you're not following that channel, make sure you're doing that because that's, be that's motivating for me. You it's know, accountability. To to have, like an accountability yeah. check-in every week. So if you guys are interested in that, and it's kind of a, just a fun like community of encouragement over there. So. Be fun. So this is a big, huge part of that. They do say you are what you eat, so we're trying to eat really healthy this <laughs> fall. Um, this is a really, really delicious Rails pasta is sauce. The best. I love it, and they also the have. Radiata is so good. Yeah, it's really good, and the girls really like their Alfredo sauce. Mm. So this came in a two pack, so that was really good. This is also a really great price at Costco compared to so. buying them single mm. um, at the other stores. So that's great. The kids picked out a few different snacks here. They love trail mix. They love granola bars and Z bars. This fruit and nut pack is Liam's favorite, and so yeah. we get a bunch of those. Lincoln likes them too. I've yeah. never tried these little fruit roll things, but it said um, non-GMO, no sugar added, so yeah. we're gonna try some of that for the kids. This was one of the treats that they picked out. They really <laughs> like the French crepes, so yes. I just told them they have to ask beforehand because I'm trying to get them to eat more fruits and vegetables, <laughs> and that's over here. So. Yay. All right, so some delicious produce here. We got a couple boxes of baby spinach, we'll use that for salads and a lot of green smoothies, which is something I used to do every single day with the kids was green smoothies, yeah. and so we're gonna try to get back into that. I cook a ton with the spinach. All my yeah. omelets, egg white omelets, got it. You know, yeah, yeah. And then, of course, the watermelon, that's of Lincoln course. and Penelope's favorite, and, and she really dance. likes these um, mangoes. They're kind of like the Asian variety. They're, yeah. they're littler, but they're so good. Some bananas, some oranges, strawberries. 
the kids love red grapes and these were really crispy. I did open them to make sure. <laughs> um, some organic blueberries, that's Lincoln's favorite and that's so good for him. Some dragon fruit, the girls love dragon fruit. And then Penelope loves to cook with mushrooms. And cilantro, her very she favorite. She calls it chalancha. Chalancha. She loves her chalancha. She loves um, chalancha. And some some tomatoes. I think Stephen picked yeah, those out. Not, I eat those. Right. Little tomatoes. I, I want to I want to plant tomatoes. I when we were at Stephen's dad's house this um, this summer, they have just the best selection of plant of of tomato plants and they're, they're so, so sweet. They taste delicious. like candy, guys. I'm not a tomato person, but I have fallen in love with tomatoes because of all those sweet little ones. <laughs> and I want to plant some in our garden. So Same. we're gonna be doing that. Um Kira really loves Caesar salad, so we got a couple of those. We got a bunch of avocados. I got a lemon. I'm doing a bunch of lemon water in the morning. And so I put that actually with the Pellegrino down here. This is like a the best case. deal. Getting these Pellegrinos in the case at yeah. Costco is so good. Yeah, a big and then case of water. We're doing this. This is 35 pack and it was cheaper than the 24 pack of the alternative. Mm -hmm. And the kids are like obsessed with these ices ever since we went to Arkansas last year. Yeah, time. a few of the drinks, those are definitely more cost effective in the cases at Costco. So yeah. we went ahead and did that. Um, we've got some asparagus here. We got some, this is a huge thing of frozen broccoli. It's yeah. like six or Four five. Bags. Four bags, okay, mm -hmm. so that will work for multiple uh, meals there. The best apples ever are honey crisp oh, apples, so we got two large bags of that. And then the girls got a couple of different noodles. Um, mm -hmm. Kira, Penelope, and Jude will take those for school. Yes. A humongous bag of rice, <laughs> <We> go <laughs> through a lot of rice, our kids love rice. Um, and then they also really love Izzy's. This is their favorite yeah, drink. So we do Izzy's and a huge thing of seaweed mm -hmm. is also our girl's favorite. And then down here we just got some chips and some um, just, paper towels yeah. and all stuff that good to stuff. Keep it easy, to keep it, uh, you know, is that stocked. It? That's it. Are we done? Wow, that's maybe the fastest Ooh, we've ever I'm done. like out of breath after like, doing all that talking. <laughs> all right, so that is our grocery haul for this month. And I need to go ahead and put away all of the frozen stuff get Lincoln up from his nap, and then we'll start thinking about dinner. So I think the rest of this will be okay, but yeah. the kids are starting to get hungry. I think we're going to do the tacos here in just a second. Lincoln definitely wants to eat. Lincoln <laughs> saw those tacos. He's like smelling them from... These are like one of his favorite. He always devours these. Let's get you a plate and we can make it okay. <laughs> <laughs> How did you like your tacos? It was so good. So good. I love those tacos. Costco's got some really good dinner options. So. And a nice little taco bowl. Mm -hmm. It's delightful. Link had a taco bowl. Link could love his taco bowl. <laughs> ah! Yeah, you did. The boys are playing another game of Monopoly over here. And it never stops. Yeah, and we're. Also, speaking of Lincoln, he can jump now. He could jump. He was dancing in the kitchen actually a minute ago. And he was both feet off the ground, which is actually really impressive. So that's really cool. But um, but I'm trying to get the kids in bed early. This whole week we've been trying to go to bed a lot earlier because of school starting in the next couple of days. And so um, we have our little routine that we're doing and we've gotta be getting in bed earlier because it's no longer summertime, huh? This Getting up earlier, going to bed earlier. Yeah, we're trying to shift that schedule. I mean, there's like a two hour difference between what our summer schedule was and what the back to school kind of schedule has to be. So uh, it's gonna be early morning, especially for Ethan and Lincoln, because their school starts at 7.30. And that's a full hour earlier than the middle school and a, an hour and a half earlier than the high school. You guys though- I just remembered, I get to go to school 30 minutes later. <laughs> An hour and 30 minutes later. Oh, yes. So, oh, yes. Yes. Well, actually, no, an hour later, an hour later. The high school, so the high school starts school at 8.30. Um, yeah. The middle school starts at 8 o'clock, but we don't have any kids like in the actual middle school. Yeah. Liam's in middle school, but he's gonna be online. Liam gets to sleep a little bit. 
Kira and Kira and Liam have the it pretty good. Benefits of homeschooling. It is kind of nice because we get the other kids off to school and settled, and then yeah. we come back, and then we, the rest of us can sit down and have some breakfast and get a little bit of a slower start uh, to the day. So that's kind of nice to have a, a little bit more relaxed schedule. It just doesn't take quite as long with homeschooling because you're not having to have all those filler things with like changing classes and all of that. So yeah. it doesn't take quite as long. So we don't make them get up quite as early. You're so sleepy, aren't you? So I'm gonna go ahead and get Ethan to sleep. Lincoln took a little bit of a later nap today, so he'll be up a little bit later, but um, we need to get this one to sleep. Let the other kids kind of hang out a little bit. Are we gonna finish Monopoly tonight? Yeah. We are? That game could last hours and hours, so probably won't finish tonight, but. Oh, that's so sweet. He's got a Spider-Man onesie jammy on. So we are gonna close it out so that I can get all the kids ready, situated for bed, and getting onto that school schedule. But love you guys. Thanks for joining us on this crazy, huge grocery haul. And we'll see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> good job, you did it. Yeah, good job. <laughs> He's using that left oh. hand. Yeah, that is a left hand. Are you bothering daddy with your left what hand? What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> You're so For your namesake, you will leave.